Let's discuss lesson 3, illustrating combinations. So let's first define combinations. Combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. So when it comes to arrangement, the order in combination is not important. So in combination, the number of different combinations of R objects from N distinct objects is represented by the given uh, working equation or formula NCR or the combination of N things taken R at a time is equal to N factorial over R factorial quantity N minus R quantity factorial wherein N is the number of objects R is the number of chosen objects and R must be uh, less than or equal to N but greater than or equal to 0. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? This means that the value of R must be less than or equal to N. Say, for instance, N is equal to 5. Therefore, the values of your N must be either, uh, either uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or equal to 5. Okay? If you answer a certain problem and then you you uh, finalize that your R is 6, when N is 5, this is wrong. Okay? R must be less than or equal to N but greater than or equal to 0. Now, this notation, NCR, can also be written in the form, uh, this form, this one is also read as the combination of n things taken r at a time. This form also, this is the combination of n things uh, taken r at a time. In our book or reference, we use this. The combination of n things taken r at a time. So, isa lang ibig sabihin yan. And then, you will follow this formula. Next, let's evaluate the combination of 7 things taken 2 at a time. So, n is 7. This is n. And R is 2. Now, working equation will be the combination of N things taken R at a time is equal to N factorial over R factorial quantity N minus R quantity factorial. And after that, you have to substitute uh, the values of N and R. N is 7, R is 2. So, you will have 7 factorial over 2 factorial quantity 7 minus 2 quantity factorial. And then, you have to proceed with the operation. Uh, evaluate this first. 7 minus 2 is 5. So you have 7 factorial over 2 factorial times 5 factorial. And then, after that, you have to expand or use a fundamental quantum principle in 7 factorial. You have to expand 7 factorial in such a way that 5 factorial here will be eliminated. Okay? So when you expand 7 factorial, 7 factorial is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. Now, if you will expand this 7 factorial, you have to stop with 5. Why? For you to eliminate 5 factorial. Okay? So, let's expand 7 factorial. It will become 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. And from there, you have to cancel out or you have to eliminate 5 factorial. Because 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial is 1. Okay? Now, next, 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Then, after that, cancellation method, you have to simplify the given so that you can answer it easily man using manual. Okay? Or you can solve it manually in an easy way. Okay? 6 and 2, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, you will remain, uh, or you will have 7 times 3, and 7 times 3, that is 21. So, the combination of 7 things taken 2 at a time is 21. Okay? That's how you use the formula. Next, that is method 1. So, method 2. Instead of using n factorial over r factorial quantity, n minus r quantity factorial, you may use... Uh, the permutation of n things taken r at a time over r factorial in in uh, exchange with the original formula. Okay? So, this is method 2. Let's explain method 2. So, in method 2, n is also 7, r is also 2. And then, we will be using this formula. And then, substitute, n is 7, r is 2. Okay? From there, from here, say, as simple as fundamental counting principle, 
So you have seven uh, seven things taken two at a time. So two slots yon, two one and two, and then seven yung una. Tapos yung susunod na option mo six na lang. Okay. So seven pito that is seven times six. Okay. So this is seven times six over two factorial is equal to two times one. So this is two times one, and then simplify. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Cancel out 2. And 7 times 3, that is 21. So, that's how you use the second formula. So, the combination of 17 second 2 at a time is 21. Now, next. Using scientific calculator. Using your scientific calculator, I, I'll, I'll send the video uh, separately. Okay? I, I, I'll upload the video in the YouTube separately. But for the meantime, I'll show you the process. Here are the steps. So, step 1, you have to uh, input, say for instance, the combination of 7 things, 7 things taken 2 at a time. So, we will input this in the calculator. So, input 7, input 7, and then the screen in your scientific calculator will flash 7. Next, you have to press the NCR button. Press NCR button. Okay? If you press the NCR button, this will flash on your screen, 7C. Now, next, you have to input 3. Okay? If you input 3, your screen will show 7C3. Uh, 7C2. Should I say 2? Correction, this is 2. Input 2, so that is 7C2. Next, and then press equal sign, equal sign. After pressing the equal sign, 7C2. After, after pressing the equal sign, 21 will show, 21 will appear on your screen. So that's it. That is now the answer. That's how you use scientific calculator. Again, I will upload a separate, separate video for this. Next, how about problem solving? Say, in how many ways can a basketball team of five players be chosen from eight players? So, you have eight players originally, so this is N, but you will just go in to choose five players. Kasi in, uh, in an official game, in basketball, uh, only five players are allowed, or the first five players are allowed to play the game, correct? Then there are some substitu substitution if... There is a, uh, there is a possibility of substitution if it is needed. Okay? So, N is 8, R is 5. So, the value of your N is 8 and the value of your R is 5. From there, you have three choices, either method 1, method 2, method 3. Nasa sa inyo yon. But then, there are some cases that you have to answer an activity in which you have to show your complete solution. Therefore, you have to solve it manually. You will just going to use your calculator for reference if you get the correct answer. Okay? Now, next. So, working equation. Say, we will use the first equation. Uh, NCR, or the combination of N things taken R at a time, is equal to N factorial over R factorial quantity N minus R quantity factorial. And then, substitute N is 8, R is 2. I, 2 or should I say 5? Sorry for that. So, 5. So, we have 8 factorial over 5 factorial, quantity 8 minus 5, quantity factorial. Okay? So, 8 minus 5, that is 3 factorial. So, 8 factorial over 5 factorial times 3 factorial. Now, you have to expand 8 in such a way that you will, you will eliminate one of these. Now, I, I, we will choose to eliminate 5 factorial because 3 factorial is just 3, two, 3 times 2 times 1 and 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 time, times 1. So, it is much better to eliminate 5 factorial than 3 factorial. Now, you have to expand 8 factorial in such a way that you will be eliminating 5 factorial. So, that is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Okay? So, if you will expand 8 factorial, you will end with 5 factorial to eliminate 5 factorial in the denominator. So, that is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial times 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 
Okay? Now, eliminate 5 factorial. Now, 3 times 2 is what? 3 times 2 is 6, and you have 6 here. So, cancel out 6, cancel out 3, cancel out 2. So, you will have 8 times 7 na lang. And 8 times 7 is equal to 56. Correct? So, the combination of 8 things taken 5 at a time is 56. That is now your answer. So, there, uh, there are 56 ways on how to choose 5 play players from 8 players. Okay? Next, if you will be using the second formula, say the combination of n things taken r at a time is equal to npr or the permutation of uh, n things taken r at a time over r factorial, where n is 8, r is 5. Substitute, you have 5. P, I should I say, correction, correction, this is 8. 8P5, where the permutation of 8 things taken 5 at a time is a, a over 5 factorial. Okay? From there, 8P5. So, using fundamental counting principle, you have, uh, you will be taking 5, uh, you will be taking 5 from original 8 elements. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And from there, uh, from the 8 players, you choose 8, and then 7, 6, 5, 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and 5 factorial. So, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then proceed with simplif simplifying. Uh, eliminate the uh, same expression or cancel out the same expression. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 4 and 4. Six, 3 times 2 is 6. So, we'll cancel out 6. So, 8 times 7 will remain. 8 times 7, that is 56. So, the combination of 8 things taken 5 at a time is 56. Okay? Next. Let's have a brief review. So, substituting everything that is 8 factorial over, over 5 factorial quantity, 8 minus 5, that is 3 factorial. And then, 8 factorial, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, and then cancel out 5 factorial, you will arrive with 56. Next, let's write this. They say, in how many ways can a committee consisting of 4 members be formed from 9 people? So, 9 people is the total. You will just going to choose four members. Okay? So, this is R. So, N is 9. R is 4. From there, say we will use uh, the permutation of N things taken R at a time over R factorial. Okay? Substitute. Uh, N is uh, 9. So, 9P4 over R is 4 factorial. Okay? 9P4 will be expanded using fundamental counting principle. Okay? You have 9 options, but you only have 4 positions. Okay? 9 options natin. 9, 8, 7, 6. So, that is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Over 4 factorial is... 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And uh, 4 times 2, that is 8. So, cancel out 4, cancel out 2, cancel out 8. 4 times 2 is 8. Eh? And then, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. And then, you only have 9 times... 9 times 7 times 2. And 9 times 7 times 2 is equal to 126. Okay. So, there are uh, 126 ways on how to uh, how to form a committee of 4 members from 9 people. Okay. So, that's the combination of 9 things taken 4 at a time. Okay. <clears throat> Next, how many chess games can be made in a group group of six players? So, from a group of six players, so N is six. Now, next, what will be your two? 
Ah, you what will be your tool? What will be your R? You have to you have to analyze the problem first. How many chess games in an official ch chess games? How many players will be uh will be matching first? Pag ba chess player apat agad ang magmamatch? Apat sila nagharapan, hindi di ba? So in a chess game, an official chess game, dalawa lang mo na per elimination dalawa lang. Correct? So si si player A versus player B. Ganun lang din sa chess. So, ibig sabihin, R is 2. Okay? If that's the case, R is 2, N is 6, and R is 2, we will have uh, the combination of 6 things taken 2 at a time is equal to the permutation of 6 things taken 2 at a time over uh, R factorial, that is 2 factorial. Okay? Uh, fundamental counting principle, uh, the permutation of 16 taken 2 at a time, so you will just going to take 2 positions, and that is 6 and 5, okay? So you have 6 times 5 over 2 times 1, and 6 divided by 2, that is 3, and you will have 3 times 5, 3 times 5, that is 15, so 6, uh, the combination of 6 things taken at 2 at a time is... 15. Oh, therefore, uh, a total of 15 chess games can be made in a group of 6 players. Okay? Next, if there are two 12, there, sorry for that, if there are 12 teams in a basketball tournament and each team must play every other team in the eliminations, how many elimination games will there be? So, we have 12 teams, therefore, this is N. And we will be computing how many elimination games will there be. Now, if we were dealing with eliminations in an official game, if there is an elimination, ilang, ilang team muna ang maglalaban-laban? Okay, sa isa, say, uh, first game, second game, third game, and so on. Sa first game, Ilan yung, ilang ilang team ang magka, ilan ilang team ang magkakatapat muna sa first game. Apat ba na team? So isa sa isang official court, apat ba na team ang maglalaban? Hindi, correct. So sa isang official court, uh, team A versus team B. 'Yun ang first elimination mo. Okay? So ang elimination dito, that means R is 2. Okay? If that's the case, then uh, N is 12, R is 2. So, the combination of 12 things taken 2, or 2 at a time is equal to the permutation of 12 things taken 2 at a time over 2 factorial. Kasi dalawa yun. Okay? Next, 12P2 or the permutation of 12 things taken 2 at a time can be, uh, can be evaluated using fundamental counting principle. You have two positions but you will just going to... Uh, Fill you you have two positions and then you have to fill the two positions. So 12, 11. Okay, so that is 12 times 11. And 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1. Next, 12 divided by 2, that is 6. Okay, so you will have 6 times 11. And 6 times 11 is 66. Okay, therefore, officially, there will be 66 elimination games. Okay, next. On a circle, there are eight different points. By using those eight points, how many bow strings can be made? So we have eight points. This is N. Now next, bow strings. What does a bow string look like? A string is a line. Correct? A straight line. So if we will get a segment from that, uh, from that stri string, it will look like this. Now how many N points does this string has? So, 1, 2. It has two endpoints. Correct? So, R, both strings here, R is 2. So, if that's the case, N is 8, R is 2. That means uh, the combination of 8 things taken 2 at a time is equal to the permutation of 8 things taken 2 at a time over 2 factorial. And then, fundamental counting principle, this is 8 times 7. Okay, so 8 times 7 over 2 factorial, that is 2 times 1. And then simplify, 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So you have 4 times 7. And 4 times 7, that is 28. 
Okay? Therefore, uh, there are a total of 28 bowstrings to be made by using 8 points. Okay? Or can be made using uh, 8 points. Now, next. How many polygons can be possibly formed from 6 distinct points on a plane, no 3 of which are collinear? So, for this naman, you have to make a polygon. Okay? Remember that polygon are are geometrical shapes that has uh, sides, okay? Next, if that's the case, if you have six distinct points, what are these kind of polygons, okay? So, if you have three points, say, isa, dalawa, tatlo, if I'll be connecting this to make a polygon, this is a triangle. Triangle. Now, if I have four distinct points, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Okay? And if you have 5 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a pentagon. And so on. So therefore, using 6 di distinct points, and 6, you can create a 3-sided, a 4-sided, a 5-sided, and a 6-sided polygon. Okay? What are these polygons? We have triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, and hexagon. Okay? Now, if that's the case, let's talk about their, their combinations. Okay? Say, if you have six, uh, six distinct points, you can create uh, a triangle there. So, you have the combination of six, uh, six distinct points uh, using three points long. Okay? Next, the combination as well, if you have, this is for quadrilateral naman, that is the combination of six distinct points, uh, you can form a four-sided polygon. Same with six distinct points, you can create a five-sided polygon. And using six distinct points, you can create a six-sided polygon. And then after that, for you to get the number of polygons that can be possibly formed, you have to add the results. Okay? Now next, 6C3. 6C3, so N, so N, 6C3, wait, 6C3 is equal to 6P3 over 3 factorial, okay? And 6, uh, using fundamental counting principle, 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 4. So you have 6 times 5 times 4, divided by 3 factorial, that is 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2, that is 6, correct? So, cancel out 6. 5 times 4 is 20. So, the combination of 6 and second 3 at a time is... Excuse, 20. Now, next. Say so we have uh, 6C4. For 6C4, so 6P4 is equal to 4 factorial yon. 6P4. So, apat na pwesto yun. So, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay? 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. And three factor, uh, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? Cancel out 4, cancel out 3. Now, next, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And 3 times 5, that is 15. Okay? So, that is 15. Next. We have 6C5. So, 6C5, 6C5, uh, 6C5 is equal to 6P5 over uh, 5 factorial. So, 6C5, how many positions is that? 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then multiply using fundamental counting principle. Over 5 factorial, that is 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cancel out 5, cancel out 4, 3, and 2. And 1 is 1 as it is. So, 6 divided one, divided by 1, that is 6. So, six five. Uh, uh, the combination of 6 is 6 and 5 at a time is 6. Okay, 6 is 6. If this is 6, you will be taking 6 lahat. So, times 1, then this is 6. That is equal to... Na yung natira doon is that, tsaka 1 doon. 1 divided by 1, that is 1. So, 1. Okay? Now, 20 plus 15 plus 6 plus 1 is 42. So, there are 42 possible polygons 
uh, that can be formed using six distinct points, no three of which are collinear. Next. So let's, let's try this. If there are seven distinct points on a plane with no three of which are collinear, how many different polygons can be possibly formed? Okay. If that's the case, N is seven, R is a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, and a heptagon. Okay. Next. The number of polygons is equal to the combination of this, 7C3, the combination of this, uh, plus uh, 7C4, the combination of this, plus 7C5, and then the combination of this, 7C6, and then the combination of 7 and 7, plus 7C7. Okay, 7C3 lang yun. So, 7P3 is equal to 3 factorial. Ilan yun? Tatlo. So, 1, 2, 3, 7, 6, 5. And then, uh, fundamental counting principle over 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6. So, cancel out 6. So, you will remain with 7 times 5 is 35. So, that is 35. Next, 7... Uh, C4. So, 7C4 is equal to 7P4 7P4 over 4 factorial. So, apat naman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 6, 5, 4 over 4 factorial is 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cancel out. 3 times 2 is 6. Cancel. 7 times 3, that is 35. So, this is also 35. Next, 7, 7, C5. As for 7, C5, 7, P5 over 5 factorial. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6, 5, uh, wait, wait. <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3. So, multiply over 5 factorial is 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cancel out 5, 4, cancel, 3, cancel. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And 7 times 3, that is 21. So, plus 21. 7C6. 7C6, so 6 yun. 7C6. So, that is uh, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, C, 6 over 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cancel 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So, you will have 7. And 7, C, 7 is just simply 1. You only have one possibility to choose from 7, 7 distinct points. Uh, 7 distinct points. So, plus 1. 35 plus 35 plus 21 plus 7 plus 1, that is equal to 99. So, the total number of polygons that can be made using 7, seven different uh, distinct points that are, uh, no, which, no three of which are collinear is 99. Okay? Next. In how many ways can a committee of seven be formed from six men and seven women if the committee must have Three men. Okay. Now, this is an example of combina combinatorics problem in which the restraint or there is a condition to be met first before answering the whole problem. Now, as for this, you have to create uh, a committee of, uh, of seven. So, a committee of seven, this is N. Now, from the committee of seven, uh, you have choices in which six are men and seven are women. But you have to consider that in the committee, you must have form, uh, you must have three men. Okay? Say you have seven positions. Now, three of which must be men. Okay? So, this must be men. So, that is uh, men, men, and men. Okay, so if n is equal to 7, I should I say n is equal to, by the way, this is not n, wait, 
Ah, we will not consider this as n. This will be your n values. Okay? So, n is 6 and 7. And r is, from 6 men, you will be choosing automatically 3 men. So, that is 3. Now, if you have a committee of 7, ilan pa yung natitira sa women choices natin? 1, 2, 3, 4. These are all women. So, we have 4 women in the committee. Next, if that's the case, we will now proceed with our uh, formula. Now, the combination of, that is the combination of 6 men. In the six men, we will, we will be, we will, uh, we will choose three. And from the seven women, we will choose four. And then after that, you have to multiply to get the possibilities. Okay? 6C3. 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 6C3 is equal to 6P3 over 3 factorial. So, dun sa 6P3, tatlo lang. 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 4. And 3 factorial is 3, 2, 1. And six, uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Cancel out. 5 times 4 is 20. So the combination of uh, 6 men to be taken 3 at a time is 20. Now next. 7C4. 7C4. Seven C four is equal to four P I should I say seven seven P four over four factorial. So seven P four up and down two three and four. Seven six five four and then multiply and four factorial is four three two and one. Cancel out four. Three times two is six. So you have seven times six, which is equal to thirty five. Okay. Now, 20 times 35 is 700. So, there, there are 700 ways uh, to, uh, this, there are 700, 700 ways that can, uh, then, that a uh, committee of seven can be formed using six men and seven women in which three must be men. Okay. Next, say, in how many ways can a committee of five be formed from five juniors and seven seniors? If the committee must have three seniors, so N is five and seven. So five juniors, seven seniors. Now, as for the condition, uh, the committee must have three seniors. So if these are seniors and these are juniors, so kung meron ng three seniors, ilan na lang? A committee of five. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Senior dapat yung tatlo. Ano dapat ito? Ito dapat ay junior and junior. So, ilan yun? Dalawa. Okay? Yan. So, the combination, n is equal to the combination of uh, 5 junior and two, uh, to be taken 2 times 7 seniors and 3 will be taken. Okay? 5C2, ilan yun? 5C2 is 5 p2 over the r factorial 1 2 5 and 4 divided by 2 factorial that is 2 times 1 4 divided by 2 that is 2 so 5 times 2 is 10 so this is 10 next 7 c3 7 c3 7C3 is equal to uh, 7, 6, 5 over 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6, cancel. So, 7 times 5 is 35. And 10 times 35 is 350. So, there are, uh, there, there are 350 ways. Or there will be 350 ways in uh, in creating a committee of five from five juniors and seven seniors in which three must be seniors. Next. In a box, there are five black pens, four blue pens, and six red pens. In how many ways can nine pens be chosen if there should be, uh, or there should three, there should be three pens of each color. So, N natin. 5 black pens, 4 blue pens, and 6 red pens. Now, next, 3 pens of each color. So, 3 pens of each color. 
Ibig sabihin, tatlo na black, tatlo na blue, tatlo na, uh, na red. So, that will be your R. Okay? Now, next, the combination of uh, five black pens taken three at a time and the combination of four, four blue pens taken three at a time and the combination of six uh, red pen taken three at a time and then you have to multiply all the possibilities so that you can uh, you you can arrive with the number of ways that can nine that can nine pens be chosen so five c three that is uh five c three five c three well five p three over three factorial that is equal to one two three five times four times three over 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? Cancel out 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So, this is 10. Next, 4C3. Four 4C3. Three. Four three, so, 4, 3, 2. Divided by 3 factorial. 3, 2, 1. Cancel, cancel. So, that is 4. Next, 6C3. 1, 2, 3. Over 3 factorial, 3, 2, and 1. 3 times 2 is 6, correct? So, 5 times 3 is 15. I should I say, ah, oh, wait, wait, let me do, ah, 4, this should be 4. Correction, 5, 4, I, I skipped 4, so this is 4, okay? And 5 times 4, that is 20, okay? Next, 10 times 4 times 20 is 800. So, there, there is, uh, there are 800 ways that can nine pens be chosen in which three pens of it must have each color next a box contains five red ball pens or should i say five red balls seven green balls and six yellow balls in how many ways can six balls be chosen if there should be two balls each so i sagot na agad so n is five seven and six so n is five seven six r is Two balls of each color. Two balls of each color. Okay? So, we have 5C2 times 7C2 times 6C2. Next, 5C2 is what? 5 times 4 divided by 2 times 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 5 times 2 is 10. Times 7C2 is... 7, 6, 2 times 1. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 7 times 3, that is 21. Times 6C2. 6C2 is 6 times 5 divided by 2 times 1. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 3 times 5, that is 15. Okay? So, 10 times 21 times 15, that is 3,150. So, there are 3,150 ways in uh in choosing a ball in which there should be two balls of each color okay next if five pens are picked randomly from a box containing five red pens and six green pens in how many possible ways can it happen that at least three of the pens picked are red now take note of the condition at least three so, na ibig sabihin na at least 3, ang pinakamababa na nabilang ng red pen ay dapat tatlo. Okay? So, if we are dealing with arrangement, say, arrangement natin. Arrangement natin. Kung we will be choosing 5 pens, eh. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pens. From 5 pens, dapat at least don red. Okay? So, red dapat ito, red, red. Yung tatlong bilang na yun, yun na yung pinakakunting bilang ng red. In short, in this kind of problem, look first for the uh, for the restraint. Look first for the condition, and then follow that condition. In short, yung yung ating whole problem, wala siyang pakialam dun kung ilan ang makukuha mong green pen. Ang goal niya dapat red pen mo dapat ang pinaka kanting makuha mo ay tatlo. Okay, so arrangement number one, tatlong red, tapos dalawang green. Okay. So, this is uh, 5C3 
times, green natin dalawa, 6C2. Okay, that is your first arrangement. Second arrangement. Lima ulit, 3, 4, 5. Say at least 3 lang naman. So, what if apat na red ang nakuha? So, this is 5C4. 5C4 times. Isa na lang yung green. This is 6C1. Next, third naman. Say what if lahat ng kinuha nating pen ay red? Red lahat ito. Okay, so ilang combinations ito? We have 5C5. And then, yung green natin, syempre we have to represent, represent it na dapat wala talaga tayong nakuha. So, kung wala yon, that means 6C0. Wala tayong kukunin sa 6 green. Okay, so yan ang arrangement natin. Okay, now next. N is 5 for red pens, 6 is for green pens. Now, this is the least number of uh, red pens to be chosen. Dapat tatlo. Okay? Kung 5 pens ang pipiliin mo, 3 plus so that 5, yung tatlo dapat ay red, tapos yung dalawa ay green. Okay? Kung at least ang, ang condition mo, you have arrangements. The first arrangement is 5C3 in which tatlo yung red, tapos dalawa yung green. Then you have to multiply Yung second arrangement mo, apat naman yung red pero isa na lang yung green. Tapos third arrangement mo naman, limang red pero walang green. And then after that, you have to multiply and then add. Add the sum. Uh, should I say, multiply first and then add the result or add the product, should I say. Okay. Next, from there, we have 5C3 times 6C2, 5C4 times 6C1, and 5C5 times 6C0. And then you have to add. Okay? So, 5C3, ilan yun? 5C3, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 3, divided by 3 factorial, 3, 2, 1. Okay? 3 and 3, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 5 times 2 is 10. So, meron kang 10. Now, next... 6C2, 6C2, 1, 2, 6 and 5, divided by 2 times 1. 6 divided by 2, 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay? Next, 5C4. As for 5C4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, over uh, 4, 4. 3, 2, and 1. Cancel out 4, 3, and 2. So, you have 5. 6, C, 1. 6, C, 1. So, 6 divided by 1. That is 6. Okay. Next, 5, C, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cancel, cancel. That is 1. 6C0 is also 1. Okay? Now, next, from there, 10 times 15 is 150. 5 times 6 is 30. 1 times 1, that is 1. 150 plus 30 plus 1, that is 181. So, there, there, is 100, uh, there are 181 ways in choosing 5 pens randomly, but at least 3 of the pens picked are red. Okay? Let's try this. If four marbles are picked randomly from a jar containing six red marbles and seven green marbles, in how many possible ways can it happen that at least two of the marbles picked are green? So, N is seven red, seven green. So, six, seven. Now, at least two must be green. Okay, this is red, this is green. So, at least two must be, uh, must be green. So, two. If you have four marbles to be picked randomly, this is two as well. So, yun na yung pinakalis na our value mo. Okay? From there, we have arrangement mo na tayo. Arrangement. So, one, two, three, four. First arrangement, two green. And then, dalawang red. Okay, so this is 6C2 and this is uh, 7C2. Now, next, second arrangement. 
1,2,3,4, tatlong green. Then, isa na lang yung red. Okay, so this is 6C3, and then this is 7C1. Now, next arrangement, 1, 2, 3, 4, apat naman na green lahat. So, this is 6C4, and then that is 7C1, 7C0 to be exact. Okay, from there, we have number of marbles is equal to 6C2 times 7C2 plus 6C3 times 7C1 uh, plus 6C4 times 7C0. Okay, 6C2, 1, 2, 6, 5 divided by 2 times 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 times 5 is 15. Times 7C2, 7, 6, 2 times 1, 6 and 2, that is 3, 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 6C3. 6C3, this is uh, times 4, this is times 3. 3 times 2, that is 6, 5 times 4 is 20. Times 7C1, 7... C1 is 7, plus, plus 6C4, 6C4, six 6C4 four. Six is 6, 5, 4, 3, divided by 4 factorial. Okay, cancel 4, cancel 3, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 times 5 is, uh, six, 3 times 5 is 15. Next, 7C0 is 1. Okay, next, 15 times 21, that is 315. Plus 20 times 7, 140. Plus 15 times 15. So, 315 plus 140 plus 15, that is 470. So, we have 470 ways in choosing four marbles, four marbles randomly. Next, your turn. You will be answering exercises A, B, and C of inst instructional support pages 8 and 9. I already sent you the... The copy of the link, due is on April 24. April 24. That is on Saturday. Keep safe everyone and that's it.